Hello everyone, this is Dave from JD Psychoworks. Today we will be doing a baffle test with Goldenrod. Goldenrod is our 2023 Road Glide shop bike. It has a Andrews 485 cam in it right now. I've done 22 cam tests in this bike so far. It has a Chromeworks 2 to 2 exhaust system, stock throttle body, SNS 55 millimeter intake, 5.5 injectors, RLNS inverted air filter, it's a 114 inch engine. Well, I did all my testing with the louvered baffle in the Chromework system. This is one of my favorites here. A lot of people love the sound it gives you, plus it gives you very good power and torque numbers. This is a, one of my go-to baffles. The second one people like to see is this one here, which is called a spoon baffle. How oh, it's got that cut out in there like a spoon. And this one I use, I call, the, I call this the quiet baffle. I use this in bikes when people want a mellower tone and not so aggressive sound, but still a really good sound. And I'm also going to test the bike with no baffle in the muffler, no secondary baffle. These are secondary baffles. The mufflers do come, the mufflers do come with some wrapping in them, but without this, they don't work correctly. This allows us tunability of the Chromework system. You can see here the part numbers for the louvered. The louvered baffle is right there. That's what it's called. The Torque Monster DB Saver, they call it. And for what I call the quiet baffle or the spoon baffle, there is a part number for that. They do make some other baffles like rippers and uh, a couple of the different baffle types for the Chromework 2-2 two two exhaust systems, but these are the two I focus on that I honestly believe work the best. Right, so here is the results of our baffle tests with Goldenrod, our 2023 shop bike road glide. You know all the specs on it by now. So this year we are running the Andrews 485 cam in this still. I left it in the bike for this test. This here is how the 485 performed with the louvered baffle as I did with all the testing on this exhaust system on all the other cams. So a lot of people say, well, hell, why do I need baffles? Well, the reasons why is because they help create this area torque and help the bike run a lot better by keeping back pressure. Right. So when you're riding your bike, when you're cruising down the road, just cruising through, through town and back roads, taking it easy, you're gonna be in this RPM range here, probably 2,000 to 3,000 RPM area. And that's this area here where you want nice torque for that. When you're cruising down the highway, 
you're up at this area, 3,000, $3,500 RPMs. You know, 4,000 and up, that's your fun zone. That's passing vehicles, that's getting out there with your buddies and just really letting it loose. So we try to maximize the power across the build for everybody to give them the best performance everywhere or where they ride. If they're only out running their buddies, having a good time, they don't care about down here. But the guys doing back roads, going up and down mountains and touring with their wives, this is important. You know, so that's something we like to do here. So I'm gonna bring up a graph with taking the baffles out of this and you'll see how this changes. Same exhaust, baffles removed. Now you can see here, this big torque dip we got here. We lost, what, 10 foot-pounds of torque at, at 3,000 RPMs. But lost of torque throughout the range there. The rest of it stayed kind of the same after I uh, recalibrated. A little more peak torque here, which happens with a, a big baffle. This is the graph you normally see with a Reinhardt baffle with a DBX muffler. It'll give you this kind of graph. So I'm gonna put in the quiet baffle. The quiet baffle is one I like. It's just a little mellower. It will change the curve a little bit and that will really show us a little difference what's going on there. And that would be right here. So now we can see with the quiet baffle, well, the torque came on earlier than with the louver baffle. We lost a little bit of mid-range torque, but the rest of it stayed about the same. Actually gained a little top end horsepower which is pretty amazing here. And um, with every one of these baffle tests, I am going through and recalibrating the fuel curve so I can get an honest result. So now a lot of folks like to talk about taking the quiet baffle, or it's called the spoon baffle, and modifying it. So we're gonna show you what happens there. I'm gonna bring up just the quiet baffle by itself. Now we're gonna have, I'm sorry, that's no baffle. There is a quiet baffle, or the spoon baffle as it's called. And I'm gonna bring up taking that spoon baffle and modifying a little bit. And you can see what happened there. We modified that baffle there. We lost a little low-end torque where you're cruising up and down the mountains. But the rest of the graph didn't really change much after recalibrating. A little tiny more peak torque there. So that's kind of how baffles work with your exhaust system. That's why people like me really like to talk about it a lot and ask you what's in the exhaust and what mufflers you have and what head pipe you have so we can help advise you on getting the best running bike you can with the best performance out of it without big, huge torque dips or without lots of lost power. So now we do have another test here and this test might be a second video, but if not, here it is. We're going to bring up a baffle, a, a different exhaust that is not the best, well, not the best exhaust out there. This here is a Cobra two to two exhaust system that I had around the shop that someone left here. And hey, if anybody wants this system, it's for sale. It's black, it's, it's not that bad, it's cheap. Um, so anyway, that's kind of how we, the graph we got this exhaust system. Now we're going to compare it to our louvered baffle test, and that would be, let me grab that up here. Here is a same bike with the Chromeworks 2-2 to -2 with the louvered baffle. Look at this torque we lost here with that Cobra exhaust system. We lost a whole crap ton of torque here. A little more, and the peak torque came to here, and we also had less horsepower. So it's amazing how exhaust systems are very important. And that's why exhaust systems are one of the biggest questions I have for people when they call here to talk to me about their motorcycles. It makes a really big difference on how they run. So let's just close this out and I'll bring up the quiet baffle one. Now see how it looks versus the quiet baffle. Look at that. Look what you're giving up with that exhaust system. You're giving up, geez, almost five foot pound, almost five horsepower. You're giving up down here. What's that? Let's say 10, 15 foot pounds of torque where you ride all the time and it just kind of sags and lags there and it that's what a bad exhaust system will give you so there you go folks that's some baffle tests it's an exhaust system test for you and i hope you get to enjoy it and again we might take the exhaust system test and put that in a different video